Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today we will be discussing another topic in Salesforce which is Salesforce Data Loader. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to cover what is a data loader, what is the purpose of data loader and then we will be using the data loader.io to be perform different uh, operations like import, export, delete or upsert. So let's understand what is a data loader. Data loader is a client application which is mainly used for import or export of uh, any kind of data. So use it for the insert, you can use it for update. If you wanted to delete any records from the Salesforce, you can make use of the data loader. And if you wanted to export any kind of Salesforce records, that is if you want to perform any kind of operations, like if you wanted to insert or update anything, before doing the update, it is always the best practice to export the Salesforce record for the backup purpose. So even for that, you will be using the data loader so there are a lot of uh, other things that you can do using the data loader if you wanted to do mass updates you can do it if you wanted to do mass deletes that is something which is possible using the data loader you can define the field mappings and you can also do uh, upload attachments and couple of other um, uh, tasks can be performed using the data loader so the data loader mainly uses comma separated values so as it says here when importing the data Data loader reads, extracts and loads data from the comma separated values files or from a database connection. And when you are exporting the data from using the data loader, it outputs in the CSV file. So mainly the data loader uses the comma separated values. Now let's understand the purpose of a data loader. So the data loader is mainly used to load or insert 50,000 to 5 million records. If you want to import or export data into an object that is not supported by the import wizard, then you will be using the data loader here. If you want to do, as I was mentioning, right, if you wanted to do some kind of backup, you can do it using the export feature, uh, which is provided by the uh, data loader. So by default, data loader uses the SOAP based API. So this is something which is an interview based question. So usually uh, as a default, Data loader uses the SOAP API, but if you want to change the uh, default from SOAP API to the bulk API, you can do it from the settings. That is something which you can do it. I will be uh, walking you through on how to uh, do that uh, changes in the data loader settings. So this bulk based is faster compared to the SOAP based um, API. Now let us see how we can export files using the data loader. So if you remember in our previous video session, we used Salesforce object query language um, uh, to retrieve the records from the Salesforce standard objects or Salesforce custom objects and also the related objects. So here we will be making use of the data loader.io tool wherein we will try to export the same kind of uh, data from the standard objects or the custom objects and we will see how you can export or how you can do different kinds of operations using the data loader so we'll mainly concentrate on the data export and we'll see we'll also uh, see uh, different uh, uh, operations like insert update delete using the data loader let's log in into the salesforce now so here as i was mentioning i will be making use of the salesforce data loader so you can log in into the salesforce data loader let me log out and i will walk you through from the start so just type in data loader.io in your browser once you log in into the data loader.io in your browser here on the right hand side you see login with salesforce click on this login with salesforce then if you are using the custom domain you can use the custom domain here then it will allow you to it will uh, log in into your salesforce but in my case i'm not using any custom domain and i'm then using the production environment if it is sandbox you can make use of the sandbox uh, drop down here but in our case it is a production then agree to the terms and condition and click on login so what it will do is because i have already logged in into my salesforce dev org here it is automatically logged in into my um, developer org here so if you wanted to do certain kind of operations as i was mentioning when here on the left hand side you can see the new task right click on new task you can see you can do the import you can do export and you can do the delete let's click on export uh, first 
export is mainly used to export or extract uh, the data from the salesforce so here you will be using the connection if you have any username you can make use of that specific username if you are having any other username you can click on it and you can get that here you can see the list of objects which are available in the salesforce which specific object you are looking for the extract or the export you can select that specific object here so here as a step one i'm using the account object which is a standard object i wanted to export all the accounts which are available in the salesforce click on next i clicked on this account then click on next so here it is asking me um, whether you what all the different fields you would like to uh, select for the export so um, let's click on select all and when you see here on the center of the page on the left hand right hand side it is using the same select query select id what we have discussed in our previous session related to soql and all the fields which are available in the account object are getting pulled in and we are using the from query here if you wanted to do certain kind of filtration that is something which is possible even in the data loader you wanted to do the order by account name if you want to do use ascending you can do that if you wanted to use descending you can do that as well a lot of different things is possible and if you want to search anything account uh, name not equals or equals to blank or something here you can see different operations is null empty is not empty so you can use multiple different filter conditions here according to your business use case i do not want to use this filter then if you see here it is order by ascending click on next so as i was mentioning right by default it uses the uh, soap api but if you wanted to change it to the bulk api you can use the bulk api as bulk api is the fastest one if you don't want to use that you can disable the checkbox here these are all the different advanced conditions if you wanted to add any kind of destination folder you can do that then click on save and run so here what you are trying to do is what and all are the accounts which are available in the salesforce you are trying to export all of those accounts um, using the data loader export feature so why do you do that why do why do you need to extract all of this it is mainly used for any kind of ba backup purpose if you wanted to do some kind of analysis for those specific purposes you can make use of this export or extract uh, export um, uh, feature uh, you uh, which is available in the data loader now when you wanted to do some kind of upsert operations or you wanted to do the update or you wanted to do some kind of insert it is always the best practice to always do the extract of that uh, available records in the salesforce or whenever somebody asks you to delete that specific record into the salesforce as a best practice try to extract that specific record and then try to delete that because you never know right whenever they, they could be any situations when wherein after a month or so people will ask you hey the whatever the record you have deleted i need that record to be uh, available again so you can do that using that specific um, because you have the backup already available it is very easier for you to um, export the same uh, data into the salesforce insert the same kind of or insert the same kind of data into the salesforce here you see account export is done here it is retrieving all the nine records now when you click on this nine success you will can here you see save it and try to open so it is opening in the comma separated value if you see here it opens in the comma separated value all these are the column names or field names what are all of the different accounts all the account names it is we are able to extract it now let's go back and let's talk about another export here i wanted to export it from the inventory object which is my child object i will select everything now if you scroll down here you see that it is related because you have a lookup relation to the account object right so that's how you are able to see this now if you want account description account name account phone account type you can 
pull any of the related object information here. So when you see this SOQL query, you can see here, right? Select ID, all the fees which are available from the inventory object. Along with that, we are also fetching the related object. Sorry. Yeah, you see account name underscore underscore R. So R is basically defines the relationship. So from that specific account, you are trying to pull the description. You are trying to pull the name and you're also trying to pull phone and type from the account object. And then if you wanted to add some filter conditions, you can add it. Click on next. So just one record is available because I just created one record, right? Save and run. Let it take its own time. Uh, once it exports, we'll try to fetch that record, export that and verify that record in our local desktop. So likewise, you can make use of this new task. There are different types of um, operations which you can do. Now uh, we have seen the export. If you wanted to do the import, I will try to show you that as well. And then if you wanted to delete anything, you need to have the account ID. That is the uh, uh, ID of that specific um, um, object uh, of that record. That is the object ID of the record which you wanted to delete. You need to have that. And then you can go ahead and delete that res respective um, uh, data from the, the respective record from that specific from the Salesforce. Yeah, it is success, right? You see here it is success. Let's try to save this. I'm saving it to the same folder. Let's open this. Here you see all the fields are getting pulled in. And here it is also providing me the inventory. That is the inventory related account. What is that account? Do you have any other values for this phone? Do you have values for the account type? All of these are fetched. So you can save this for any future boss, uh, future of, uh, you know, if you want to do um, do some kind of backup or for any specific purpose you can save this specific uh, file now let's also talk about the import functionality here so when you click on the import here you can see that there are different kind of operations that it is providing me you have the insert operations you have absurd operations you have the update operation insert is mainly used to insert any new record into the Salesforce. Absurd is if you wanted to, uh, if there is a, a record present and if you wanted to do some kind of modifications, you can do it using that. If there is no record, then try to create that record. You already have an update, which means you already have a record which is present in the Salesforce. You wanted to do some kind of modification to that specific already existing record, you can use the update functionality. Let's see about insert. And I will try to insert another inventory. Click on inventory. Here, uh, I need to have the uh, CSV file, right? So using that CSV file, uh, you can a CSV file for with the object ID of those records. You can create those um, object IDs. Here we have different, this one, right? Object ID of that specific account. If you have any files which are available either in your Dropbox or in your computer, you can use that and you can do it. And then it will ask you to, it, it will ask the data mappings and you can just go ahead and do the data mappings and then run it. So if what will happen, it will run, um, uh, it will insert the specific uh, record into the Salesforce. In the same way, if you wanted to delete anything, if you wanted to delete any account uh, related object related account uh, record you can do it either you can have the upload the csv file which has the ids of that specific account that you wanted to delete in the same way as i was mentioning if you wanted to insert any record you can have the uh, details about each of those uh, values what specific uh, record you wanted to insert the values that you wanted to insert you can 
use uploaded using the csv file and then you can do the data mapping and click on delete so this is how you will be using the data loader.io in order to do certain kind of operations um, as per your business uh, need here it will show me if you are doing any imports any exports these are all of the different kinds of exports you have done if you have any deletes it will show me over here and if you have any scheduled that is also something which is possible which you, which will be visible in this specific uh, tab so this is what we have for today's session until we come up with our next topic please do take care of yourself signing off namrata karyala bye bye